Hi friends, today I will show you the complete installation process of Kodak LRS S2040 scanner which featuring 600 dpi scan resolution, the unit embedded image processing system deliver crisp high quality image at simplex speed up to 40 ppm and duplex speed up to 80 ipm without depending a computer. So let us start the installation process. To start the installation process, please insert the DVD into the DVD drive of the computer system. Now go to this PC or my computer. Uh, after that, uh, open the software by clicking open. Now you can see the setup file, so please uh, open the setup file. Open here. Uh, after some time, you can see the a pop-up window will open uh, here the pop-up window will open to, for the installation of the scanner so now click the begin option uh, there is two type of installation type you can see here um, you can see the download from website and second one is use this software so click here and click on next now there is two type of uh, installation you can click typical and click on next now you can accept the agreement click on next now the installation process will begin you have to wait for some time mm, so after some time you can see the all step have been comp completed you can see scanner driver and documentation installation is complete so now you can click next you can click next uh, you can remove the level from usb port so some text is given you have to do that uh, click on next after that you have to power on the usb cable and plug in the usb cable and power cable so click on next uh, confirm the scanner is turned on so on the scanner power on the scanner click on next uh, after some time it will recognize the scanner so now the scanner is now connected to your computer click on next you have to do some tags here so read the instruction and click on next Again, for the tray, you can click next. Again, with the instruction, click next. So, you put a document into the scanner, and the scanner will scan the document. So, you can see the scanner scan the document, click on next. Now, you can see congress on you have successfully completed all the steps in this installer. You will now install the scanning application. So, click here download from website. We have to download the software from the web website. Now, click on Firefox web browser. Now, it will redirect to a new website where you have to download the software. So, first of all, if this type of message pop up, you can uh, click here accept all cookies, close the window. close the window uh, now you can see uh, you can see smart task for s2006 scanner so uh, you have to request software now you have to give some information to the website uh, the person who will using the scanner um, some information will have to given so first of all you give uh, mr after that you have to select the first name of the user who will use the scanner last name after that you have to provide a valid email id so that they will send the link there software link so fill up the company name who will use the this scanner software after the after that job role uh, here you can see you can drag down here uh, uh, you can use owner uh, after that uh, don't click here you don't click here uh, again you have to fill up um, the address of the user who will use the scanner so after inserting the address you can see the product information here the serial number in the scanner you can see the serial number in the back side of the scanner so you can see it it will automatically come so date of purchase will be the installation date in which date you will install the scanner you can select that date so select the date after that you have to agree the terms and condition click here so click here so click here i am not capture um, 
select the picture now verify it so click on send me a link now the link will be sent to the email address which you have provided there so here you can see thank you for uh, requesting the software a link has been sent to your email address now you can open your email address now you can see in the inbox your software download from kodak alaris so you can see here thank you for requesting the software and uh, you can click in the link given there now they will again redirect to a website where uh, you can see the download option so you can see the download option you can download now so downloading the software it will take some time as yes, about uh, 988 mb the software is so after download it from the browser you can click the software so click on ok uh, some requirement is there so you can click install here click install it will automatically install the requirement uh, click on yes if it pop up so you can see the software is automatically installing the its driver and files wait for some time as it will take more time please be sure that your scanner is powered on now click on next welcome wizard is there click on next you can accept the terms and condition and after that you can see this is uh, do not send users data. you can click do not send users data now click on next after that you have to insert the username and organization name organization name means uh, any name ok now click on next again click on install now the software will install it will again take some time so ok launch the installation has completed so uh, there is a pop up message uh, you can click finish now you can go to the text bar you can see the icon here yes codec s2000 scanner so this type of option will be there is color pdf is there second one black and white pdf third one black and white rtf color jpg all options are there you can select all now you can configure by clicking the configure now you can see the what type of output is there is color pdf or black and white pdf or what you can select here after the destination here you can see the destination file type after that folder where it and the output will save you can click here by browse it where you will save the output um, after that uh, you can see the file format you can select that and sequence number in the file name format after that file name you have to select the name of the output prefix okay after that you can click here name file prior to saving it will pop up message after that scan option edit images prior to saving so click here right click here after that okay now again you can click the icon and click on color pdf and insert one paper into the scanner you can see the scanner will scan the pdf so here is two pages so if you have to delete one pages so click on the pages and click on the delete icon so after clicking the delete icon it will pop up a message to delete the image you can select yes now you can select done so now a message will pop up so you have to give the file name please insert the file name uh, save it and save the destination file you will save the output so now you can see the output here yes this is the output so this is how the installation has to be done and if you like this video you can subscribe my youtube channel and please share this video to all your friends thank you